HDMI 105 daily steam penetration test on a benchtop sterilizer using the Brown's Type B Helix. HDMI 105 requires a steam penetration test to be carried out daily on vacuum sterilizers. The purpose of the test is to ensure that the sterilizer is able to create a sufficient vacuum to remove the required amount of air from the chamber. If air is left inside the chamber during sterilization, this will create pockets and prevent steam from penetrating the entire load. Unscrew the cap of the helix. Take a test strip and fold it in half, making sure that the ink is on the inside. Place the folded test strip into the cap and screw the cap back into the helix. The test should be performed with only the furniture and the helix present. No instruments should be processed in the chamber at the same time. If you also perform a daily automatic control test, you may want to save time by performing both these tests together. Once the helix is in place, close the door and start the cycle. The helix holds a test strip at the end of a length of tubing. The machine must remove all the air from the tube, then push steam back in all the way to the test strip and change the colour of the ink. As with all Type B helix, the length of coil is 150cm. Carefully remove the helix device, remember that it will be hot. Unscrew the cap and examine the test strip. In this example, the ink on the strip has uniformly changed from yellow to blue. This proves that the cycler removed all the air from the tube and pushed steam back in to contact the test strip. In this instance, the cycle has passed. In this example, the ink on the strip still shows traces of yellow. This is because there was still air in the helix when the steam was pushed into the chamber. The air in the helix prevented steam from contacting the area of the strip that remained yellow. In this instance, the cycle has failed. There are several reasons why a failure may occur. Sterilizers will require a specific helix device to be used, and you may be using the wrong one. The machine may also require a warm-up cycle prior to performing the test. The problem may lie with the machine itself and a fault with the vacuum aspect of the cycle. If the test does fail, you can contact Isofarm Sentry for further advice on how to proceed. After the test, remember to complete the test record in the machine logbook. You should also attach the test strip in the logbook as further evidence of test result.